Okay, let's take a good look at this brooder trailer. Now, it's all plastic, okay? The dolly is separate. Um, I bought the two together, the trailer and the dolly. That's the key word right there if you go to search it, the flegel. Um, I bought the two together. I'm pretty sure it was like $49.99. But afterwards, I found out that you can get just the trailer for about 38 bucks. And just the dolly is about 12 or 13. Okay, the ramps do fold down. We'll take a good close look at it. Now, the tires are hollow backed, but uh, I don't see any problem with them. I'm going to paint the rims OD green, obviously, and then dirty them up with mud and wash and all that stuff. And I'll paint the truck itself green, including the. Those are some kind of adjustable tension rods depending on load weight I'm not sure but they're going to be green now the chocks are uh, adjustable and right now I have them set they fit just right for a Sherman I'm going to show you in just a second we're going to put this thing through its paces now this front area I think is going to be great for either for stowage or I think you would also have the option of removing the silver panels it looks like they'll pop right out and then it would just you know just leave nothing up there it's just part of the structure of the trailer you know but with the sides on there it kind of screams storage area and uh, um, I'll see if I can get some shots of it with some crates and jerry cans and stuff piled up there but uh, now this is an all plastic Sherman it's got plastic tracks, nylon gears, the whole nine yards but it fits on those chocks. Now those are adjustable. I brought this one back two holes and this one up one hole. And they fit just right in the ramps. Fold up these fold down. They got like a boss or something in there to uh, to make it click into place. And uh, if we servo operate these I'm going to have to get rid of those. I'm thinking about joining the two ramps. I've already got two points on here that would we could easily just run rods right across and join the two together and then hook one arm to a decent servo but I still have to figure out how to make it go up and down I'm not sure if that's going to work but you can see that those fit the Sherman just right see it's just, yeah, it's just pushing the track a little bit both front and rear I couldn't believe we just totally lucked out there it was like perfecto Okay, so let's take a closer look at the trailer itself. Set this to the side. Okay, now it does have legs, and they're good sturdy legs. And they hold it, you know, in the position they're supposed to. Now, like I said, it's all plastic, but uh, now it has a a large pin, or, you know, it's a split pin, but it has a large pin here, and uh, that's okay, because I'll show you why in a few minutes, but uh, the leg just pops in, but it locks into place and holds pretty good. Now, here's the rear, okay? Now, the very back axle has just got round holes and it doesn't it just spins it spins easy but I think this would be a real place to put bearings and possibly depending on how much weight you're going to put on here maybe some kind of metal side plate even if it was just a straight bar going through all three I don't know that'd be a lot of work but it's something to think about but uh, if we could put somehow put bearings on this this one for sure and these two are slotted so that when you go over something, you'll get that independent suspension appearance. It'll kind of fake it. The tires are hollow and open back, but they've got a lip, and they feel pretty good. They're uh, they're pretty soft, but they're hard out here. They seem to run pretty good. I had them out on the concrete, and uh, they did pretty well. And the way it's designed, I think it'll take a pretty fair amount of weight. I think it's made to set a, a brooder 
farm tractor up there, even if it's metal. And it seemed to it seemed to roll really well. The truck pulled it really well. And as for the truck, you could either run it with the dolly and the fifth wheel, or excuse me, the dolly and a clevis on the back of the truck. I just happen to have a truck here, kind of. Now, if you put the you put the fifth wheel with the hole right in between the two axles. It's going to come in right about there. Okay. Now, you do have to be careful. You can't move the fifth wheel too far forward because then you'll get interference back here between the back of the frame and the uh, and this part of the trailer. You can see how close that is right now. But right there, it's perfect. It clears everything just perfect. Except that uh, it's about three quarters of an inch of air in between the bottom of the post and the frame rails. So that's perfect to set some kind of fifth wheel on there. And if we had some kind of adapter that would pop on here and just have a post coming out of the bottom of it, uh, even with uh, if it had a groove on it for a clip or, I mean, I suppose you could make it servo operated then. But uh, I think that would work really well. And uh, of course, you know, all the fuel tanks and stuff got to go in there. That's going to um, change the appearance quite a bit. But I think we have a winner. Uh, so the thing that's got me pondering is the servo operation of the ramps. That would be a very, very cool feature. Of course, that would probably rule out the stock board. You'd have to go to a better channel radio either. I got a four channel pistol grip that would probably work. Could run the two-speed tranny and the ramps but yeah if we could figure out some way to make those servo operated that would be very cool and if we can't we'll just have to do it by hand <laughs> but there she is the uh that's the brooder trailer and that's from outback toys and uh i think they're going to be seeing some more of my money oh yeah and these these are the uh Diamond T tires on here. These aren't the stock tires. I'll have to get one to see how they look with stock tires. And the tires on the dolly are actually bigger than the stock tires that come on the truck. And they, uh, I don't know, to me they look just a little bit off. But anyway, tell me what you think. Sorry it's got so long. We'll see you next time.